On this problem, we are trying to find all the solutions that, um, that satisfy this equation here. So that is going to require us to use a skip counter, uh, where we use n representing any integer. And uh, this is multiple choice, so we could have several answers here. What you see on the right, though, is my attempt at solving for x. Now, this is essentially the principal value, which I've grown accustomed to abbreviating. Principal value is p period v period. Principal value is like the first place um, where, where this equation is solved. So if you think of a sine curve as, you know, <clears throat> meandering up and down through the the sinusoidal shape, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, for the entire infinite domain. This is basically the first place where where there's an intersection point. Okay, so if if the uh, x and y axis were here, this would be like this first spot is what the principal value is. Now, um, that's just a, a sketch to put you on the same page when it when we're talking about principal value here. But so what we've got in this solution that I use the calculator in radian mode to find is um, the first spot. Now it's going to repeat from there, but because this is a sine function, we can find what's called uh, what I've been calling in class as a secondary principal value. Um, it's, a, it's another spot where the sine function has an intersection point, but the calculator only tells us the principal value. We have to go find the secondary principal value. So the algorithm for this, the little formula for finding the secondary principal value, is, is basically this. It's going to be half the period minus the principal value. Okay. Now the trick here, because once we have the principal value, I should say this. Once we have the principal value here, I can identify... Um, one of these solutions as having that starting point, okay? Um, but the skip counter, n times the period, is something we need to find both for that first solution based on the principal value, but also for this second solution based on the secondary principal value. So I need to go and, and take a look at this b value that we were given in this original equation b is 20. So using that, I can calculate the period the way we always have calculated period is 2 pi over the absolute value of b. So 2 pi over 20 will be pi tenths. That is our, our period in exact form there. So um, that really does solidify my answer choice for b because it's got the principal value plus the skip counter, which is, which is based on the period of this specific function. Now, to find the other one, I need to go back and take this period that we just found, which was pi tenths, cut that in half, and then subtract that principal value of 0.018. Okay, so let's clean that up. Um, this is going to give us a, you know, and look at the answers. We're fine with decimals. This is going to be, I, sh I should just say x is estimated to be, uh, and then in my off-screen calculator, I'm going to carefully punch this in and get uh, pi halves divided by 2, I'm sorry, pi tenths divided by 2 minus point zero one eight. I get the point one three nine. Round it off, we get point one three nine. So that's the second place where this function has a solution. And that draws us to C. Okay. So just in recap, whenever you're dealing with a sine function for one of these find all the infinite number of solutions um, where we have to solve. There is another, which I've grown accustomed to calling it the secondary principal value. There's another place where this happens, that the 
calculator doesn't tell us. The, the calculator is only going to give us that principal value, which is how I got the 0 0.018 um, from punching this stuff in. But by using this little formula here, period divided by 2 minus the principal value, uh, we can get this other starting point, which I call the secondary principal value. So that narrows it down to those two spots, and those are both verifiably using the skip counter of n times pi tenths. So we are good to go on this one. I'm just going to label this as secondary PV for that 0.139. All right, I hope that helped.